Hi guys, my name is Deepak and in this quick demo, I'll talk about how to migrate from unmanaged disk to managed disk in Azure. Now, let's quickly look into the demo environment. And before I get started, let me also tell you, if you guys don't know what managed disk is, please have a look at my other recording, which talks about the benefits of using managed disk. Now, what I have in this environment, I have got a VM and this VM is in stop state. That's a requirement for this migration that VM needs to be in a stop state. Now, how do I verify whether this VM is using managed disk or unmanaged disk? I click on disk and if I add a disk and if it is asking for a storage container, it means it is unmanaged disk because unmanaged disk requires a storage container, whereas the managed disk doesn't require a storage container and Microsoft manages the storage uh, for you. Now, I'm going to close this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump onto the PowerShell window and going to start this migration. So, in order to perform this migration, I need to log into my Azure account. I also need to select Azure subscription. Since I've got multiple Azure subscription, I'm executing this command to select the subscription where this VM is running. Now, if you have got only one subscription, you don't need to run this command. So the command to convert the normal unmanaged disk to the managed disk, it's convert to Azure RM VM managed disk. And you need to provide the resource group name as well as the virtual machine name. Just make sure this virtual machine is running in this particular resource group. All right, so I have run I've already run these commands, so I don't need to run them again. And I'm simply going to select this command and execute it. Now, this is going to take some time because this is going to convert the disk to managed disk. So I will pause the recording and come back once this migration is completed. And once the migration is completed, the VM will also get started. So I don't need to start the VM. Migration will start the VM automatically. We'll just verify if it is using the managed disk or unmanaged disk. Migration is completed and you could see it took less than one minute to perform this migration. So let's just quickly verify. I will go and select my VM. Yeah, it shows it's in running state. I will select the VM and I will select the disk. And if I click on add data disk, I should be able to add a managed disk. So I'll click here and you could see I don't need to select any storage container. Now I can simply add any disk. So I can create a disk or I can even add any existing disk as well. So you could see that I'm, I'm not required to select any storage account here. All right, so this concludes the demo. Thank you very much.